with Jay Dinshaw, her husband. Her husband founded American Vegan Society in 1960. 1960. Uh, Jay Dinshaw founded American Vegan Society uh, in New Jersey. Uh, in 1960, and just a little while later, Freya came around, got married, and uh, they've been running American Vegan Society ever since. Continuous operation. That's amazing. So, um, uh, she wrote a popular cookbook, uh, The Vegan Kitchen which was first uh, published in 1965 and, and, and is still in print. Absolutely. And is there anything other awesome we can say about Freya Dinshaw? Ah, and Freya edits for many, many years American Vegan. American Vegan Magazine. Now, I've done magazines, and they are, you just have to really hunker down and do them. Uh, with, with great, great pleasure, I give you Freya Dinshaw. Let's give a hand to Freya. Hello, friends. Hello. Americans. Woo! Vegans. Woo! We're here today because we hear the cries of the animals on the farms, in the factory farms and in the fields. We hear the cows. Moo! The cows from whom we take their milk. It is not freely given. We steal their milk from their calves and take it for ourselves. We hear the cries of the cows. Moo! We hear the pigs. Oink, oink, oink. Please join in with the noises. We hear the pigs. Oink, 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 oink. Who, su who suffer and live very short lives. They're killed for their meat. They're killed for their leather. These very intelligent animals who are very dear if you get to know them. We hear the cries of the pigs. Oink, oink, oink. We hear the cries of the chickens. Cluck, 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 cluck. The, the boiler chickens, the, the, the egg-laying hens, we hear their cries, we know their suffering in abominable conditions. We hear the cries of the hens, and we're here to witness for them. We hear the cries of the sheep. The sheep who are raised for meat and wool. There is no innocent byproduct of animal raising and animal keeping. Wool, the sheep suffer when the wool is taken from them, very often at the time of slaughter. We hear the cries of the sheep. Now we know there's something we can do about it. And the solution rests with each of us. We hold the key to stopping the suffering of the animals. We must refuse to eat them. We must refuse to wear them. That's what we must do. Thank you.